beautiful YouTube family and community. Uh, and I'm aware I'm a bit naughty. I tend to get carried away on one side, which is at the moment a little bit of too much LinkedIn. And I forgot about YouTube, about making videos here and sharing the love with you. So let me make up a little bit. It takes a balancing act on many, in many ways. And, and I want to share this with you today. We all are here within this body and our spiritual existence, our I am, our awakening, wherever we are. But we are here in that consciousness. We have relationships with beloved, with others, with friends, with family, with workplaces, with clients. We also maybe have a business or we have a way to share our blessings in the world, professionally, in a business, in your endeavors. And we are all part of a community. What is your community? We don't all live physically in a community space, but yet your suburb, your village, the people you are buying from, the people you are interacting with, they're all your community. So sometimes we get all lost between all these almost obligations to find that balance between self and relations, blessings, business and endeavors, professional and the community. And, and sometimes it's just not easy and maybe it's okay. It's about finding your own dynamic. It's about figuring out where you wanna be and if something doesn't work, find a new balance. But I feel it is really important that we put energy in all these four aspects of our life. We do yoga four, five, seven, five, six, seven times a week. Some days we are off. It's okay. We're still going back tomorrow. So it is important to, to just find this balance. And of course, this is what I'm also referring to as praxis. It's not, it is practical, but it's not a practice. The praxis is flowing, flowing and being conscious where we put our energy and how we are doing things in the moment, in a day, in a week, in a month, in a year. So this was not an apology. This was a sharing from my heart to yours, how life sometimes kind of takes you away. And unless you are consciously aware what is happening and where your energy goes and where it doesn't go enough, you are not in that balance. It is not a balance like, oh, I need to spend so much time here, so, so much time there. I'm not talking about this balance. I'm talking about the dynamics of it. There are situations when one needs more attention. Maybe your beloved needs more attention for whatever reason. Maybe your children have a special request. Maybe your business is on a really good project and it needs to be finished. Yes, time flies. And yes, we cannot get time back. But we can be conscious and reflecting on what comes next. It's like you know when something is enough and now you can put your focus somewhere else. So the balance comes in again. So usually when we are really busy, like we are now preparing the website, so you can really click and find your way and having everything ready, including the shop. But when we had a good day and it was enough, then we pack up and go into the village, spending time with community, walking together for this relationship. This is the balance that I'm talking about. 
it's not strict in quadrants. It's not your time. It's even not your energy. It's about recognizing when something is too much and something is too little. And there's sometimes you put more in one and the other time you put more in the other. We got a new word here and I want to address that quickly before I let you go. Or before I play the flute. The other thing that came to us, a word, as you know, a bit of a wordsmith, a linguist of the heart. I love words. I love language. And let me digress just a little bit. I feel a strong connection to the Qatars. Not sure if you're familiar with that. I feel a strong past life connection. And I had explored that 15 years ago with a very lovely friend in New Zealand. And they actually had their own language, the dock. So there was a beautiful, or Occitan, if I'm pronouncing it properly. There's a beautiful Italian researcher who spoke about that. English subtype was absolutely fascinating. And why is it relevant here? The Qatars were pretty free spirit. And their language, the dock, was different from the doyle, which was spoken in the northern part of France, while dock was more in the southern part of France and Italy. And this dock was the language of the troubadour, the language of freedom and poetry, but without the trauma of romance. It is said that Dante, the, the writer, in talk. So I only write in English and I only speak in English, but I understand these nuances. And so this word that is really important right now and will continue to be report, uh, important is heart synced. The notes of the moon have taken us now into the heart. Yes, of course, how beautiful for me as a man of a heart to finally feel we're supported. The whole world is going into the heart. But more than that, the heart is the centerpiece of all that we are. As we are fully connected in the heart, everything else flows. The mind no longer is a monkey mind that takes us to crazy places. The emotions don't get stuck. We just have feelings running through. Our body comes to a place of peacefulness. It's, it's all right. And of course, from the heart, our spirit ready to fly. So yes, heart sync will be also more. So let me take you on a little journey with the flute today. I haven't forgotten to play and meditations will be back. So let me, let me give you a little bit of a cliffhanger before the next video where I tell you more about what's next in Sonko's world with the Sonic Sonkos and me. So if you wish, Find a nice place, a quiet place. Enjoy the rain with me. And yet my beautiful orchestra, the birds are still singing, and the flute. To take you into the magic of heart sync. And to take you into this natural balance that always works if we trust and if we are conscious with that choice, oh, I did a little bit of here, maybe a bit too much, but it's okay. But now I have time and space and energy to take it somewhere else. If you wish, close your eyes.
you in a place heart to heart, in a place to be heart sent, not taking things too seriously, and yet making these conscious choices without guilt and shame and blame. It is all right, and it will be fine when you know that you have that choice to put your energy, your time, and your space, and your presence where it needs to be. You don't have to stick with one thing. You have the choice. So Heart Sync is here. It is born. More connections are here to come and more sharings. Wishing you a beautiful day, evening, morning, whenever this is catching you. From my heart to yours. <laughs>